Uh, what's going on, guys? We are back. This team's pitchers are being challenged to ask more of themselves. Back with some more energy to the show. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Bottom of the first. And stepping in is the speedy Nico Horn. Yeah, bad from the Chicago Cubs, Nico Horn. Pitch is in there. Going on. Horner, a guy you think about with a strong baseball IQ, but just the overall smart. He comes from an educational background. Both of his parents at one time taught at Stanford, and his mom currently is on the faculty at Cal. Got Swings and misses struck him out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi run home run. The punch yeah. out there and two away now. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday, another one right there. Now batting Dansby got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Dansby Swanson stands in. Now one and one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. I go, I go. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Here at Wrigley Field, bottom of the second. So up now for Chicago, Jared Walsh. That's in there, and that really is actually. strike one. <clears throat> and a good eye there. Outside. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Rafael Ortega stands in. That's a bullet, but it goes that foul. foul. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied oh, by no. teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, You're and right. as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Next no. one misses three and That's one up. down. That one fouled off. Payoff pitch. A three two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Away. One down. Base is empty. Swing That's a, and a base line hit up the middle. Base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. And now here is Seiya Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki. In there for strike. strike one. Ortega, the base runner at first with one out. Foul ball. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And that one, one almost got him. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. That ball's in the air center. Out towards left center. <coughs> Pulls it in for the out. Throw and it gets away. up to hit 
strike one. Cody Bellinger, no stranger to the big stage. He played in the 2007 Little League World Series. He's the 14th player ever to play in both the Little League World Series and the Major League World Series. Next offering is foul back. And now it's one and two. That ball in the center field. Base Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Okay, I, I still First got and this. second, two down. And next for the Cubs, Luis Torrens. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And that one no, got a piece of him. God. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner, and I'm sure starting he's to feel the pressure right tomorrow. now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Christopher Morell in the box now. Takes strike one. That's in there. And a count is 0-2. Two outs. Bases are full. Down. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. It's in the 40. That's about what. That one missed. Line drive. That ball's gonna be caught. Grab and that's the inning. Cubs wind up leaving the bases loaded. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Here's Nico Horner. There's a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and Six pick up a run. All with the Cubs. Oh, and two now. The pitch. Ball one there. What? Hey, we got no outs. And a one two. The pitch is keeps the impact going with a foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Got him. Got him on the swing. One out now. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and Go couldn't on, pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. And first offering is fouled off. Hap, 29 years old, and he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. And it's even up. That's through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The two-two on the This is not good. This count skyrocketing. Should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And it goes no, just not. foul. Three and two now. And Got down him. on strikes. That's his second strikeout. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. No, just no, disconnected no, from no, head no, to no. toes in terms yeah, of yeah. the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Here's your one. That one fouled off. That pitch is fouled away. Only two now. Strike Got him out looking. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Bottom of the fourth. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole. Jared Walsh. That's inside. You know, these Cubs, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the play. What do you Strike mean? This kind of skyrocketed. Today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. And another ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The next pitch oh, misses, and that's ball three. Ground ball 
right side. Biggio. Biggio picks it up, fires it in time. First. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. And first offering is fouled off. That might be Rafael Ortega. Just off the outside part of the plate. And a count one and two. And a ball evens the count. Now one down now. One down. That ball's balled away again. Here's a 2 2. Here's a 2 2 pitch. Ball three. Ball count. And there's ball four. four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Suzuki in the box now. No balls in a strike. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the Got block. him looking. Got him looking for the K. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good... Ah, that ends the inning. So we take a break. One left. Here's a new pitcher from the pen. Damn. And 9-7 is the final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying yeah, so I don't get the win. Oh, yeah, well, of course I didn't say I'm tying it. Okay. A short outing. Next up to me is the... Nationals, okay. in the running yeah let, and let's just see like where I stand wins I'm not even close oh. losses Saves and I'm close. Oh, I'm top five in your right. I'm second in strikeouts behind Blake Snell. What's up there hitting his pitch, wasn't I? Gentleman. I'm first in walks a lot. Leading in whip. My numbers are fantastic. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Good one, and I'm out. Bye.